today we are going to be talking about the five movies I am excited for this year that I just can't wait for. Um, I wish I'd done a list more than five, but everybody's all always doing top 10, top 20, and I'm just going to do top five. This was hard to narrow down. So if you agree with me, let me know. If you disagree with me, let, let me know. If there was a movie that I sort of switched out in those five positions, um, let me know. Um, let's talk about it. But in no particular order, let's talk about the top five movies I'm excited for. Number one is Fast 10. Now, I've been a Fast and the Furious fan for quite a long time. Uh, I joke about like the ridiculousness of the Fast movies as they got more and more ridiculous. Uh, but I, I I can't do anything but um, I can't I can't do anything but admire it. Like if you've been there, like I've been there, bro. Like man, from Fast and the Furious to now, like we're like we went from like illegal street racers to super spies, like. What a co and like somehow it's cohesive, like what bananas it is bananas. I'm excited to see this movie now. I remember when Vin first talked about this. He said he would like to break Fast Ten up into two two movies. So let's see if that happens. But I'm in it, and I'm super excited to see this. I'm I'm excited to hear the family line. I'm excited to see if O'Connell has a part. If if there's anything, I don't know. I don't. I don't. If I I don't. I'm excited to see if there's any mention of that uh, of Paul Walker. Um, I, I'm I'm excited to see if I know it looked like The Rock didn't. Let me tell you something right now. <laughs> oh man, the 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 absolute hot water that The Rock is in. I I. I guarantee he's like, I need to get some of my fanfare back. Hey, Vin, uh, is everything a wrap? Like, can I get at this, brother? Like, I'm, I'm quite sure. Because I am sure he did that cold shoulder to Vin when he thought, like, Shazam was going to be a banger. Like, he was like, I don't need fast. But much like Gal Gadot, like, <laughs> you, 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 you got to go back. You got to go back. But I'm excited to see what's in store for us. The trailer hasn't even dropped yet, but damn it, I'm here for it. Movie number two. Now, there's not a trailer for it. There's not much uh, footage out there. There's a couple picks. Is Wonka. Like, I'm excited for it. Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Or the Chocolate Factory movie. Well, however you remember it. I'm, I love those movies, even the Johnny Depp one. So I'm excited to see how this Timothy guy it's down as Wonka on here. Uh, I'm not quite sure if it's a prequel or I'm imagining it's a prequel because it's a young guy playing Wonka. So I'm excited for that. I can't wait to see what happens. Number three is They Clone Tyrone. And once I saw the trailer for this, I was like, yeah, yeah, I've, I've got to watch this. So I'm super excited for this movie. Um, I, I just can't wait. Jamie Foxx looks good. Uh, John Boyega looks great. Like, it looks funny, and it's heck of sci-fi. Um, it still reminds me of Attack on the Block. So, like, sci-fi movies like this that, like, bring the sci-fi-ness to, like, the inner city is pretty dope to me. Like, uh, I don't think a lot of people, a lot of this genre, there's not a lot of films in this genre where sci-fi comes here, right? So I'm excited for that. I I'm digging I love everything about this trailer, so that's my number three pick. Number four, of course, is another sleeper movie that became a hit, and that is John Wick. I'm excited for this. I remember jumping in on John Wick. Uh, I'm taking my friend to go see it. He was like, "What? Did, why do you want to see this, Keanu? I don't know why. Until I, was, I was told him, like, bro, this shit is, it is a banger. Trust me. Once this movie starts, I was like, it's kind of slow in the beginning. But once the shit starts, the shit starts. And he blew him away. He became an instant fan. I'm still a fan of this. I mean, like, the world building from the first one, when he started with those gold coins, like, the currency, the hotel... Everything about this film series is amazing. And I can't wait for this TV show they're, they're supposed to be developing. But yeah, guys, uh, John Wick 4, I'm excited for it. I'm definitely going to go see it. I, I can't wait. I, I just can't wait. I don't even know if this is the ending. I, I don't even know how much further they can go, but I'm in it. I'm in it to win it. Number five. Number five. Number five. Okay, this is going to end up being six, but it's a twofer. Number five is Guardians of the Galaxy and Equalizer 3. Like, 
I'm excited for both these movies. I'm excited for, for Denzel Washington and what's her name who played Dakota Fanning. I was going to say the woman who played Jane in Twilight. Um, they're they're reuniting from like, you know, the men on fire days. Now they're here. So I'm excited for that. The Guardians of the Galaxy, the last chapter, uh, with Batista saying goodbye to this role. I'm super excited to see what happens here. I can't wait to see. I can't wait to see Gunn's goodbye. Like, I don't know if this is his goodbye to Marvel in general, but this is goodbye to his baby that he raised, he cultivated. He made household names out of people. Oh, people can argue. People can argue that the, some of these people are already household names. Like, I'll give you Bradley Cooper because he was Bradley Cooper. But I don't know if he was Bradley Cooper when he voiced Rocket for the first time. But even still, like, he made... He he made Chris Pratt, Chris Pratt, like <sighs> Zoe Zendetta, like I you know, like people you give your avatar, but she's Gamora to me, baby. So this seeing him uh, you know, raise this thing up, this baby, and it became like this whole thing, and I'm excited to see what this turns into. How he says goodbye. I'm excited for the soundtrack. Um man, there's so much. There's there's so much, man. I know there was tears going into filming this and Again, this is his baby. This is his send off. This is goodbye to that franchise. Like, I, I'm excited to see what that release looks like. Like, oh man, I, I can't, I can't wait. And with the Equalizer two, like I, I or Equalizer three, but the Equalizer also, <laughs> I can't wait to see like that. See if they can recapture some of the magic they had on Man on Man Man on Fire in this. So, guys, those are the five movies I'm most excited for coming out this year. Let me know if I missed one. Any of your excitement, uh, any movies you thought should have been on my list, uh, let's talk about it down in the comments. Uh, as usual, we are holding a competition. Um, I don't know what it is as shooting for this with uh, shooting this video. However, it will be down in the description below. Uh, probably have a picture of it up um, <laughs> by then. I'm not sure, uh, but I will be showing the two winners of the of my last competition. Um, again, just hit me up. Uh, and then, like, let's get these to you guys. As usual, thanks for stopping by. Stay excellent. And I'll catch you guys later.